to my channel I'm going to show you guys very easy how to get those natural perfect looking baby hairs so with this tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating this on a wig from lwigs.com this is a 360 lace wig with a pre-plucked hairline and the knots were already bleached you guys I did go in and bleach the knots and I kind of over bleached a little bit because I didn't even realize the knots were bleached so let's get into the tutorial even though the hairline is plucked, I did go in and pluck additional just to give it a more better look. I find that using a comb like this one, a rat tail comb, is very easy to pull out the hairs and work with. So I do recommend using that and also getting a razor comb like this one or just a straight razor. And that really helps you get a nice, not so even cut. Very natural, in other words. So once you've plucked the hairline, if you guys need help with that, I do have a detailed video, so make sure you check that out. I will leave it linked below, or I'll leave a little card above so that you can click that as well. Once you do that, you're ready to do the baby hairs. Now, I do this for all of my units, and this is really, you know, the trick, you guys. Now, pay, pay close attention to this. I'm going to take the hair and part from each side, from ear to ear. I'm just going to take a straight line and part and I'm going to chop off the hair. Now, not so even, not so precise, just go in and just get it really low. Now, don't take it completely short because you want the baby hairs to kind of swoop into the hair. You don't want them to kind of poke out if they start to lift or anything like that. So while I'm cutting, I like to kind of swoop it up so I can get an idea of how the hairs are gonna lay, like you can see right there, just to get an idea. So just go in and tweak it up a little. Now, keep in mind, you guys, all the hair that I am trimming and making baby hairs for does not necessarily mean that each portion of that is going to be a baby hair. I am just thinning this hairline out more so that it looks natural. All right, major key alert here. Now, once you've got your baby hair set, here's the major key, you guys. You ready? We're going to reveal some secrets. You need to pluck more. Pluck more. So wherever those baby hairs are, pluck right behind it. Pluck, baby, pluck, because you want to have that illusion that those are baby hairs. Because if you look at your hairline, if you got some baby hairs, your hair is not like, it's not like a baby hair swooped and then you got a thick hairline directly behind it, right? Your baby hairs are baby, they're soft, and they are at the front of your head, and then you got some space, and then boom, there go your hairline. I mean, I don't know, I, I that's, that's how my hairline looks, but... That's the key, you guys. So go in and pluck in front of the hairline so it looks like scalp. It looks like, okay, damn, that's, the baby hair is right there. Like, oh, that shit is real. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I hope this makes sense. So now I'm just going in and thinning out. I know it may look crazy. Y'all probably thinking, like, what the heck? But, oh, my God, you guys, wait till you see the finished look. You're going to love it. So and here's the final step, you guys. Take some water to start. We're going to mold the baby hairs. This is very important, very, very important, because you want the baby hairs to be pliable. You want them to go where you need them to go and not be stubborn. So take some water and lay them flat with your fingers. I like for my baby hairs to be natural. So whichever way the hair is, you know, laying, then that's where it's going to go. And then I'm going to mold them later on. So take that water and just lay it flat however you can. And then once you do that, find you some wrapping lotion, some setting lotion, so that we can mold these baby hairs down. Now, I'm using the Cream of Nature. You can use whichever one you have. I don't really have a favorite. I do like I do like the Design Essentials. But I love Nairobi. But Nairobi is at the shop, okay? But anyway, whatever you have, you guys, just use that. And you can use a toothbrush 
or a edge brush. This edge brush is from Cream of Nature. I love it. Thank you so much, Cream of Nature, for this brush. I need more of them, please. And thank you, because I cannot find them anywhere. But they are really great. I love this brush. So now, just take the brush and mold back your baby hairs. This does not have to be perfect, you guys. Because remember, once you start to put the wig on, you cut the lace. The, the baby hairs are going to move a little bit, but they are going to be molded so that they kind of stay in this form. And that's what we want. I want my baby hairs to go back naturally, so I'm going to mold them back naturally. So that's the whole point of this step here. It doesn't have to be like super duper, you know, together and super neat because it's, you're going to change it once you put it on you guys. Okay. Sorry, my phone's going off. But you kind of get where I'm going with that. And you do the other side. And once you do that, take a scarf, a net, paper towel, something. Tie it down until it's dry. All right, so once you guys completely finish doing all those steps, you cut your lace, which is really important. You put your cap on underneath like this. We ready. Um, this lace is almost too light. Damn it. That look damn crazy. Mm, mm, mm. So this is what it looks like now. I just took some of my concealer that I use for my face. So I take just a nice fluffy brush. And there we have it. You see what I'm saying? Way better. I'm going to be using this spray right here. It's a got to be glued freezing spray. And what I do is spray a good amount on a toothbrush. We've already molded on this side, so that's why they're going very easy right there, you guys. It's very easy to get those to lay the way you want them to. Um, like I said, this hair is from Elwigs, and this hair is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, curly, like deep curly, deep wavy um, hair. So that pretty much completes this look, you guys. I did pull my hair up into a little ponytail, fluffed it out a little bit. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up if you guys found this very easy or if you found that this was very easy to watch and understand because I want to make sure that when I do these videos for you guys, I want you to understand. So thumbs up if this is beneficial or if this is something that you can easily comprehend and understand and try, you know, yourself. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat. Instagram, um, Facebook, the whole nine. I'll leave everything below so that you guys can check it out. This is pretty much it. I will leave information on this unit. This unit is gorgeous. Look at how gorgeous this hair is. Super duper pretty, especially for the summer. Although summer is slowly leaving us, but hey, big hair don't care, baby. And I love. Make sure you guys leave your questions below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.